So today I dropped the wallet. Yeah. And uh, this one is at uh, 0 0.9.4 meters, and that one is uh, double the height. Yeah. I think the time is double. You're going to say the time is double, but not. Yeah. I learned physics today, and I know for a fact that when you drop from that height and that height, just because you double the height doesn't mean the time's going to go long. I'm going to show you on the physics. One. So this equation is a potential gravitational energy. Is a U J equals to M J Y equals to the answer is a ninety two point twelve joules. And the second equation is a kinematic equation is a K equals to one one half m v squared, and uh, the answer v final is uh, four point twenty nine meter per second, and uh, this equation is a v final equals to v initial plus a t, and uh, the final answer t is uh, zero point four four seconds. Okay, so the mass of the wallet is 10 grams. This is the formula for the gravitational potential energy, which is mass times gravity times the distance it falls. So your mass would be 10, your gravity is 9.8, and the distance it fell was 1.88 meters. This gives you the total of 184.24 joules. Now, since it fell, it goes from all this potential energy turns into kinetic energy, which means that we can put plug this value into K and determine the final velocity, which was turned out to be 6.07 meters per second, which then you plug into a kinematics formula. Your final velocity is 6.07 meters per second. Your initial velocity is zero. And then uh, the acceleration is 9.8 and T. Your time ends up being 0 0.6195, uh, 0 0.619 seconds when it is dropped from 1.88 meters of height. So you can see here that the time when we dropped it from 0 0.84 meters, or 0 0.94 meters was 0 0.44 seconds, and then when we dropped it from 1.8488 meters, it's 0 0.615 seconds. Just because you double the height, doesn't mean the time it takes for it to drop to hit the floor doubles as well. Okay, so now I see that. Okay.